Good morning from the deck of Ruby Rose. It is, oh, it's not even six o'clock. No, it is six minutes past six. And, uh, bleary, bleary eyed. It is our last day moving towards Fokka and the Seawind factory. We had a bit of a late night last night, didn't we? Because it was someone's, someone's celebration day. It was my birthday yesterday. So we all had a few beers and some tequilas and some wine. Rah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so look, it's our last day. We've got a 70 mile run to do today. Hopefully the wind will fill in and we'll get some sailing done. But um, I'd rather be motoring than uh, than I'm trying to beat into it because when the wind blows here, it will be blows. So we are trying to get north. And then after that, we will check in with Sea Wind Turkey, uh, arrange to get work done, go and get some things done there. And then, well, I guess that brings that little leg of uh, our trip to an end. Coming up for nine o'clock is still absolutely flat calm out here. I am spending my, well, my watch cleaning. I like cleaning. Get some, uh, get the stainless steel polish to the barbecue and get that all buffed out. The uh, the admiral, the admiral is keeping her watch from. Uh, well, let's just have a look at what the admiral is doing. How is the admiral doing? Quite nicely. Quite nicely. This is what I imagined. Like being on a boat was just lying around watching the go by. Right, well I'll get back to the cleaning. Yeah, Ring the bell if you need uh, you need any more service, okay? okay. Alright. Both Admiral and uh, General Dog's Body and Skibby are, um, are doing well. So yeah, we should hopefully be in by about three o'clock this afternoon. So another six hours or so to run. I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you. And a big thanks to our community of patrons. Oi, come back. Yeah, well, there's quite a big pod just behind us. Hi there. You gonna come and play with us for a little while? Hi, yeah. There's, look, mate, there's loads over there. I don't know whether they're coming to say hello to us. Whoa. I know, they're huge. Mine literally just came up to the boat before. Don't think they're super interested in us though. Look at them all, I know. Hey everyone, what's up? You guys want to play? You see a white spot on the back of one of them in front of their orcas. They're not orcas, they're lovely dolphins. Oh. Hello you. Hello. They're big, aren't they? There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Stunning. Wow. You're a big girl. Hi there. Hi. I think they just left. Sorry. Yeah, they're not super interested in us. Like, there's the pods all all back there, babe. There you go. We've got to see some dolphins. Yeah, I'm glad about that. At least a few of them came up to the bow. But yeah, you can see them all like out here. They're just chilling out. So we are only two miles away from Fokker. It's 2.30 in the afternoon and we have motored about 65 miles today, which is obviously a fair distance. 
and in Ruby Rose that would have taken us about 13 hours but today yeah it took us eight and a half nine so that's a good feeling we'll be hopefully tied up within the hour we haven't had much going on today it's been a quiet day we've just been relaxing and Nick's been playing his music and we've just been kind of enjoying watching the world go by it's good to have those miles behind us and to be arrived in Fokker at long last we're going to stay here for a little while see what the uh, village has to offer and we've also got some warranty work to do on our boat so for those of you who don't know there is a sea wind factory very nearby where they build the 1170s it's a recent addition to the sea wind uh, factory lineup and it's the turkey team that will be dealing with our remaining small warranty issues so that's kind of the main purpose in us being here we're going to go and check out the factory as well which will be really good that'll probably be in a separate standalone episode and other than that it's just going to be nice to just be still for a few days not to have to dash off and go anywhere or visit anywhere else it will just be us in the marina and uh, catching up on some work but also hopefully just relaxing a little bit because since arriving in Turkey it's all been quite hectic we've just been on the go constantly trying to get up here and the reason why we've been in such a rush is because there is a wind event or a phenomenon a weather phenomenon in Greece in a lot of uh, the Mediterranean actually called the Meltemi which is a prevailing northerly wind in the summer months and it can blow really really hard for sometimes for days many days in a row and I'm talking like sometimes like 30 knots 35 knots it's a real issue it's not really an issue it's just something that cruisers have to be hyper aware of and you have to be very flexible with your sailing plans so that if the Meltemi is blowing then you have a protected place to be so we really wanted to get up here make our way north it was a 200 mile kind of northbound journey broken up into multiple shorter passages and yeah we really wanted to get that north uh, kind of bound passage done so that we could get this warranty work done and now once that's finished we can start heading back down south and start exploring Greece but that's a completely that's going to be in the future that's not right now right now we are about to come into the bay where the marina is located and we're going to tie up and maybe I think this afternoon we might just relax although that being said I think we've got a bit of a welcoming committee so not sure that will happen but yeah anyway and then this evening I think I'll be able to talk Nick into taking me out for dinner but first it was time to enter the marina and try our hand at med mooring for the very first time Teresa, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, two. Stay on channel two. I wouldn't say we were nervous. We probably were a little bit nervous, but we kind of knew what we had to do. But definitely this was going to be a challenge for us, as you can see by the wind kind of fluttering Nick's hair. The wind did pick up, of course, just as we were entering the marina. I can't see where they are. We were feeling a little bit apprehensive, but we kind of were cautiously optimistic that we had everything under control. Now, because our action camera was, well, out of action, I only had the one camera to film this with, so a little bit of imagination might be required here. Uh, Therese, are you okay? Yeah. You can see that Nick's job was to helm, my job was to kind of run around the boat, getting everything organized and there was also a tender in the water that you can't see in these shots that was situated off our bows and there were two staff members in that tender and their job was to lead us to our berth but also to hand us the bow lines so when med mooring you have two options usually in a marina you are given kind of bow lines or lazy lines they're called slightly different things they're essentially lines that are attached to some kind of sunken block that you attach your bow or bows to 
and then you also attach your stern via mooring lines to the dock. Sometimes on town docks, and you'll see this in future episodes when we go to Greece, um, you instead of having lazy lines or bow lines, you use your own anchor. Anyway, but today the uh, staff members gave us the bow lines and I'll just put a shot in here now so you can kind of see how that was looking. Uh, this is obviously a shot of us already all moored up, but this you can see the bow lines in this shot. And then there were several people waiting for us on the dock, one of whom was Kavanch, who you'll meet properly in a later episode. He's the manager of Sea Wind Europe here in Turkey. And they took our stern lines. And then the idea was once you've got kind of all four corners attached, first of all, you're attached, so you can kind of just relax. Okay, okay the boat's in neutral. I'm in completely neutral, okay? but then you can just adjust things a little bit by tightening the bow lines and then putting the boat into hard reverse to kind of really bring it as close to the dock as possible and at that point you tighten the stern lines and we took all of our instructions from the staff members they knew what they were doing we didn't really so we just basically did what we were told thank you both thank you so much thank you everyone. yeah thank you Welcome. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Well, well, nice to see, see you. Thank you for coming today. Ah, no problem. Uh, yes. <laughs> that was really helpful. New marina, new marina. Yeah. We've been out yeah. wind for like the last three days. Nothing above five knots. So uh -huh. there's actually two minutes from coming into the marina. Yeah. <laughs> oh, take a seat. Take a seat. Oh, thank you. I honestly thank you for this. Oh, oh glad to be here. It's been. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just covered by then. Just been this today. You want uh, hello, Wait, uh, two of these, two bags, fifty. Yeah, two. Yeah, thank you. Happy is ordered. Is ordered. Yes. <laughs> the important thing. Thank you. Thank you. And it's this fishing harbour, which is just lovely. And we're very tired, but I'm very happy. Tired, but very happy because it's just beautiful here. And you know, we're going to be here for quite a while, doing various things. And yeah, going to start. Things off with a nice yeah. board. Yeah. 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 So we just ordered some calamari and a fish, a, I think a sea bass, and I think we ordered a Greek salad, and I've pretty, we ordered a dip of some kind. I don't know if there were several that were the same, and some bread, and some beer, and some beer. Very important. Yes, so our first actual proper meal out in Turkey, we mm -hmm. ate like, no, well, we had a burger in Marmaris. No, we went for a lovely meal in, in Marmaris and the upstairs place. Oh, that's true, but we didn't what? film that, <laughs> so it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we sail to places and we feel like we've really experienced that country like in depth. Like I would feel like if we go, like Thailand, for example, we saw, we didn't see all of Thailand, of course, but I feel like we experienced like the coastline, all all of the kind of coastal areas, all the islands of Thailand in depth when we left Thailand, Thailand having a really good feel for at least its southern part. But I think that Turkey is just so vast that even when we leave, when like we would have barely scratched the surface and so far it's only kind of quite to my interest for more exploration of this country which won't be able to be done by boat. I'm very much enjoying Turkey so far and I know that however long we spend here, it won't be enough. This is bloody lush. Yeah. Great, it's exactly what I want. Like a little, small little kind of old town that's probably a couple of hundred years old. Like restaurants by this town key, reasonable prices, fresh fish. Here comes food. And I think that concludes that this week's good. episode. I'm just going to leave you with some shots of our delicious dinner. It was so, so good. We are absolutely loving being in Turkey. We are really, really enjoying ourselves here in the Med. And if you guys want to follow along on our journey and join us vicariously for some sailing around the Mediterranean, then please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next week.